How do I look? Almost done. What's missing? The dress. You're late. Okay, check the attitude, flower girl. I had to make an adjustment. Worry not, this dress is pure refinement, and once donned, <laughs> you will finally, finally be marriageable. <sighs> Sabrina can't get married yet. She still needs something blue. But where's Ellie with that bracelet? Everything is gonna be just fine. Ellie is one of the most reliable people we know. I'm sure she'll get here with that blue bracelet with plenty of time to spare. She seemed pretty gracious about the whole invitation mix-up. Mm -hmm. There's a mix-up? See, the ballot has already started. Which is why we can think only good and happy thoughts. Now, what do you say we get the bride dressed and down the aisle? <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Lucy! Oh, hi, my little munchkin. Oh, let me see. I don't think you could get any cuter at <laughs> all. <laughs> Oh, and Sabrina, your hair and your makeup, you look just absolutely lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, she'll look lovely in dress. Oh, oh, right. Well, I will uh, leave you to that. There's just one uh, teeny tiny little thing that I need. I thought you might. That's why I brought you a copy of the script. So in case you go up, you know, you can officiate away. Oh, right. Well, thank you. That's very thoughtful of you. But um, that's... Uh, and I have copies in case you lose those. So no problem. Um, actually, there is a problem. I can't do it. I can't marry you and Patrick. So You had to, Ceremony. You promised. Yes, you did. I know. Um, I, I, I did, but something has come up. Uh, uh push it back down. We told the minister to take the day off because a goddess incarnate was on tap to seal this union. Well, you're just gonna have to find somebody else to do the deed. Um, hey, maybe Epiphany or Mac or somebody can do it. I doubt either of them is ordained. Well, so what? You know, all you need is a credit card and, and a cell phone and your thumbs and you can get ordained lickety split. I can't do it. I, I, I just gotta go. Good luck to everyone. No, no, wait, 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 what happened, Lucy? Did your license to wed expire? No, worse. I cannot do this ceremony because I don't know if I even believe in marriage anymore. Say what? Why? Because my marriage is over. Don't worry. And after Kevin told me that he couldn't come with me to the wedding ceremony because he had yet again another patient emergency, I blurted out something that I couldn't take back. And then he blurted out something that he couldn't take back. And then we just blurted back and forth and blurted, blurted, blurted until there was nothing left to say. And the only thing left to do was walk out. So I did, I walked out. I'm sorry to hear that, Lucy, I am. But you and Kevin have survived bigger things than his busy schedule, so I think there's hope for you. Your marriage is made of sterner stuff. You can fix this. Oh. I can't. What if I can't? I, I can't possibly just go up there in front of all our family and all our friends and extol the virtues of marriage when I can't even make mine work again. Oh, I bet that's Ellie with the bracelet. Patrick. Go away, Daddy. You can't see the baby for the way. <laughs> Technically, I think we're okay since I don't have the gown on. No, you don't. And the people are arriving. Uh, just saying. I need a minute. With the bride. Okay, then a minute you shall have. Come on, ladies. We have to respect the process. What process? The wedding process. It's complicated and terrifying, but so, so rewarding. Or so I hear. Okie dokie. Uh, so, um, Felix was actually right. Just because my marriage is to Tony and Alan and Scott and Kevin didn't work out, and, and, and the fact that a lot of first-time marriages of I think the odds are 50-50 that they do end in divorce. It doesn't mean that you and Patrick, your, your whole marriage won't succeed and be faithful and happy and fun. <laughs> if anyone can do it, it's Patrick and Sabrina, right? Right, right. I, I have complete faith that you're going to beat the odds, that your wedding and your marriage will be a huge success, I promise. <laughs> so, Felix, may I have the script, please? By all means. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Okay, well, hey, um, then let's get this wedding started. All right. <laughs> Wait! We still don't have anything blue. Oh. Oh, yes, we do. Hey, you know what? My Aunt Charlene gave this to me right before I married Alan, and, well, actually, that marriage lasted a lot longer than it should have, so it must be good luck. Here you go. I will see you at the altar. Ha! <laughs> Ta! <laughs> Oh. 
I'm sure she doesn't have a cold. Now let's get in that dress and get married. Thank you for doing this. Please, you didn't think I'd let you walk down that aisle by yourself? This is your wedding. <laughs> yes, it is. Don't you dare start crying and mess up that makeup. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. 